Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? Big P here. You know, don't you? You know. That's why you're tuned in. Right. I've had a lot of complaints in the last few days regarding David Hay, a.k.a. the Pimpinator. Pimping out Chisora. Now, it's only what promoters did to him and we have spoke about this at length in some videos especially with people coming on and interacting with me the point I want to make is it's just bullshit upon bullshit upon bullshit that we're, we're, being, we're being fed in it really it's, it's just rubbish in it now, Chisora got beat, didn't he? We all know that, don't we? He got comfortably beat. And uh, I can explain it. He got comfortably, comfortably beat, but what, what I have a problem with, and this is why I'm going to give it its own video on its own with a, with a funny thumbnail. Shout out to my thumbnail man, young Leon. Point I want to make is David Hay, he don't care about the fighters, does he? What sort of manager wants his guy out there with a guy that knocked him out three weeks after losing nine rounds against him? I, I can't get that out of my head. And I can't get it out of my head that Eddie Earn were actually toying with idea and putting it out there it it doesn't it doesn't sit well with me it doesn't sit well with me at all for the simple reason that has Derek Chisora got two brain cells in his head he's sat in a restaurant saying he's good to go this and that and blah de blah three week after that fight and he's been in camp for seven months you know that'd be an eight month camp wouldn't it and two fights <laughs> Eddie Hearn's talking about it would have been the biggest pay-per-view turnaround, you know, two pay-per-views on trot. Would have been Del Boy's third, wouldn't it? So this is how I'm going to look at it. Let's just back up a little bit and let's just look at Chisora. And let's look at David A. Bearing in mind Chisora's now going on about he wants a third fight with Fury and he's promised him it and all that. Why would you want to put yourself through what you did in that second fight with Fury, because Fury worked him out after the first one and then demolished him in the second, didn't he? So he's basically a big monster, isn't he? So why would you want to put yourself through that? But let's just back up a little bit. Let's look at David A's career. When he were with Dennis Hobson, they wanted to fight Carl Thompson in his 10th fight, 10th fight, I think, or 11th. Dennis says, no, stay away from it. They didn't want to do that. And they wanted to fight Carl Thompson and he got obliterated, didn't he? Now, fair enough, they brought him back and that and he went on to do he went on to do well. But I can explain it. We saw him, didn't we, against Vladimir? After, who did he fight before that? John Ruiz, Val UF, people like that, Monty Barrett. God. Monty Barrett. You know, those sort of guys. And yeah, he beat more Mac and Enzo Macronelli. More Mac, I'd give him as an elite win. That's his one elite win, David Hay. He ain't got another, another elite win. Not heavyweight, he blagged it. Now, we know we pulled out the Fury fights twice and said he were retiring. And then they patched him up with masking tape and. It's all about spinning narratives on Insta, on social media and IFL. And it, it's becoming repetitive now. Derek Chisora wouldn't be on pay-per-view without David A. David A's not fighting, but he's his mouthpiece, like Joshua's mouthpiece is Eddie Earn. They come as a package. Derek's smart enough to know that. But the public are being conned. And if they would have pulled this con off... It would have been one of the biggest cons to ever con the con. 
So I want to say big props to Ed Robinson for pulling pulling the plug on it because it would have been <clears throat> it would have been bad. It would have been bad, but it's pimping hay in it, aka the pimpinator. There's the haymaker, the pin, and there's the pimpinator, and he flips and flops, slips and slides between them both, just like Bellew does, doesn't he? He's another one. How many elite wins has he got? Do you know what I mean? These people are just spinning narratives, and I keep saying it, and I'll say it again. David A will come back again, so will Tony Bellew, because they can't help it. All right, this fix that they've got with this media thing and being out there on social media and that and doing interviews, that that isn't enough for them. That's not enough for them at all. No, no, no. But Derek Chisora is being pimped. When he fights his next fight and gets another loss, he'll be eleven losses. It'll just be loss after loss then and just as much money as he can get in. Then it'll be MMA. And like I said, we all know what's going to happen, don't we? Dub, 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 dub. We're talking like that. We're flattened nose, one in broken nose. Talking like Riddick Bowe and Meldrick Taylor. Then David A will be on to the next one, won't he? And that's the harsh reality, but it's happened to David A. So can you blame him? I don't agree with it, but you can't blame him, can you? But it's pimping on a massive scale. He's gassing Derek up as the second coming of Joe Frazier. Down goes Frazier. Well, Joe Frazier, who finished in 1973, one after he fought Foreman. After that, it was just a case of him being pimped out, and nobody cares for these fighters afterwards, do they? Nobody, do they, unless you're somebody like Ali. But I don't agree with it, and I'm glad it's not happening. Uh, do I feel for Dylan White not getting a dance partner? Now he's going to get one nine week later, isn't he? So Sky are not bothered. No, it's still before end of tax year. Normally, they wouldn't have a fight, would they, end of January? It'd be Feb, wouldn't it? So if they can put Dylan White out there in January, they will, because they don't need any to worry about crowds. So they just sit at home and watch it, won't we? Even though we've done, done our bunts in, at Christmas, they'll still want to stretch that extra few quid out of us because they are all whores and pimps. That's what it is. So, David A, you are the pimpinator. Don't have nightmares. Peace out. Oh, and David, don't forget to like and share and subscribe and leave a comment. You know how to do it. You do it enough.